Introducing Finny, the premier blockchain smartphone with an embedded cold storage wallet. Brought to you by Siren Labs, the leading innovator in mobile security. Developed for crypto experts and novices alike, Finny is designed to bridge the gap between mass adoptions of blockchain technology by running Siren OS, a Google-certified ultra-secure modification of Android. Finny features an unparalleled multi-layered cybersecurity suite, including an intrusion prevention system, an embedded cold storage wallet, access through our unique safe screen so you can safely store and securely use your crypto from the palm of your hand. The D Center, featuring the best of DAP Nation, alongside incentivized education through a Learn and Earn program. A token conversion service, making crypto transactions easy to use on the fly. And of course, state of the art technology, including the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset, 128 gigabytes of storage space, and 6 gigabyte RAM. It's the dawn of the new era. Take a big step forward with Finny by Siren Labs. Dive into crypto. Welcome to the launch event of Finny, the premier blockchain smartphone by Siren Labs. I am Eva Marcella, and I will be your host this fine evening. First and foremost, I would like to thank you all of our guests, journalists from top publications who have traveled here from around the world, partners, distributors, our chairman, and his esteemed guest, and a special guest, world boxing champion Gennady Golovkin, also known as Triple G. Now it's an event that's more than a year in the making, the launch of the first blockchain smartphone on the market. There may be imitators, but no other innovators. Siri Labs has paved the way for the technological advances brought forth in Fini by capitalizing upon experience with Solarin, heralded as the most secure phone in the world. And a crucial which garnered upwards $158 million last year. It was the fourth largest growth sale at the time to bring ultra security and blockchain technology for the masses. Fini bridges the gap between the blockchain economy and the mass market by solving the two greatest barriers to the crypto market security and user experience. To share more about the vision of Serial Labs for this groundbreaking project, I introduce you to the visionary, the man of the hour, Serial Labs founder and co-CEO, Mr. Moshe Hogech. Thank you. Well, good evening, everyone. This is a very, very exciting moment for the team and for myself, for my co-founder, Kines Rakishev and his family. Uh, thank you all for being here. You know, uh, it's not only an exciting moment, it's also an historical moment. It's an historical moment because this project was financed in a very innovative new way. It's not the traditional way. It was through an ICO, meaning we had an idea and thousands of people across the globe gathered around this idea and sent contribution in order to support this idea and to build this. So today, in this industry, of the blockchain industry, and to build an hardware, not only software, but to build an actual phone, It's a very historical moment and a very special one. And I want to tell you why we chose to build this and what is special about this. So, you know, when I, when I do things, I like to understand how they work. And I discovered that many of the things that I do uh, in a daily basis, I don't really understand how they, how they work. For example, light. You know, we use it on a daily basis but not a lot of us really understand how this thing works. It's a simple thing, has a lot of value, 
but how it works, I'm not sure I know. Another product like that is money. We use it on a daily basis, but not many of us really understand what is money, how it works. It's a special product that allows people, allows us to transfer value between, between us, between each other. But what do we use? You know, when we read about history, we see that actually hundreds of years ago, the first type of money was shells from the sea, from the ocean, shells. People took shells and used it as money. It looks very primitive and funny, but look at nowadays, look at what we do right now. We take trees, we cut them very thin, we make paper out of trees, then we take this paper and, you know, we print in green, we write 100, and boom, we have money and we transfer value between us. But who prints this? Because the company or the government that has the power to print this actually has the power to devaluate our, our value that we created. So when I was first introduced into this technology, the blockchain technology and the ability to transfer value, I was very excited because it was a, a new way to transfer money and to transfer value in a safer way a cheaper way, and also for the first time, this is the only asset in the world that we really own. This is the first and only asset that we really, really own and no one can take away from us. And the concept of smart contracts, the ability to give incentives with a, 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 a person to another was also very exciting. So. When I got involved into this space, I thought, what can I do in order to help and support this revolution? And in order to support this revolution that we're talking about, decentralization, freedom, democracy, all of these big causes, what can me, a small person with my group of people, how can we help? And we understood that we looked at the market and we've seen something very interesting. There's 4,000 different blockchain projects in the world, 4,000. Each one is building software and every software wants to have their own token, which creates a very bad user experience. So we thought, how can we solve this problem? How can we make this technology accessible for mass market? And we understood it's going to be on a computer. All of this software is built for a computer. But which computer? Not a normal computer. This is the computer. This is the most important computer of this generation, the smartphone. So we decided to build a phone that has inside a lot of solutions and user experience solutions for the blockchain industry. And we thought about making it accessible to the masses. And in order to do that, we created the magic triangle. What is the magic triangle? In order to become a success, we needed three things. One, user experience. Without user experience, you don't stand a chance. We need to have a good product. This is the baseline of every product success. You need to have a very good product. A very good product also needs to be simple, and we created the Sirin OS. The Sirin OS not only allows us to store value, but it also allows us to convert different type of tokens, different type of, of coins, in a seamless, super easy way. The Finiphone is a one-stop shop for many stages that before the Fini, you need ledger, you need a computer, you need a wallet software, and then you need to go to an exchange, and then you can convert. The Fini does all of this in one phone. So this is the first thing, the Sirin OS, which is very important, with the software that we built that Amit will talk about later more. The second thing is distribution. 
If we have a great product, but we don't have distribution, we don't have anything. We must have distribution. So with us today, our honorable first distribution partners from Dubai, from Ukraine, from Japan, Mr. Koji, from Hong Kong, and from other regions across the world, like Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, and others. And we have a special announcement because other than physical distribution, which is very important and we think it will become a valuable part of the company, we have also exciting news to share with you. We have a special distributor that chose us, and this is Amazon. I'm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With us is uh, uh, Matthew from Amazon. Matthew, can you join me? Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Matthew from Amazon joined us today to, uh, uh, we are, first of all, thank you for selecting us to join the Amazon Launchpad. We know it's a very exclusive uh, plan that Amazon has, and for Serene Labs to be among an elite group of companies that Amazon chose is a big honor. So very uh, appreciated, thank you. Well, firstly, thank you for having me at this event, and congratulations on what's so far been a brilliant event, and best of luck for the launch, very excited. Thank you, good luck to both of us. Thank you. So we have user experience, we have the product, we have the distribution, not only physical but also online with the number one company in the world in this, which is Amazon. What is the third one? The third one would be price. So many of you know the first phone that we built, the Solarin, was a very expensive phone. It was a very good phone, but very expensive. If we want to go to the mass market, we must lower the price. And the Fini phone, as we already revealed, will cost $1,000. But I thought, what could become magic? What can make this phone the biggest phenomena? And I thought that if we want to create magic, we need to make the phone cost one dollar. So I called my co-CEO, Tzvika, and I told him, Tzvika, I have a great idea. If the phone will cost one dollar, it will be very popular. <laughs> so Tzvika told me, you know, you can ask a lot of things for me, and I, I never say no, but I don't know how to build a phone in one dollar. So I thought, okay, Tzvika, you didn't help me. What can I do? And then I thought about an industry that gives us very good products all every day, and we don't pay for them. And it's the TV industry. Think about the TV industry. They have shows, it costs a lot of money to produce, but we don't pay to watch the TV. We don't pay to watch the shows. What do we do? We look and we see advertisement. The advertisers pay to give us the show for free in exchange for us seeing the commercial. So I thought, what can we do over here with the Fini phone? How can we make this phone cost $1 and not $1,000? And we embraced this concept and we created It doesn't work. We created the education center. What is the education center? It's a very exciting thing for us. As I said before, there's 4,000 blockchain projects today in the world. 4,000, that's a lot. What if everyone will help us in our mission to make these technologies available for the masses? How can they help us in a simple way? All they need to do is to register to our decentralized uh, education center and tell people, come, learn about our project. 
watch a video about our project, and we will pay you to do that. So already today, I'm happy to say that we have more than $300 inside the phone today. So when you buy the phone at $1,000, you can go to the education center, you can go and learn about different projects, and those projects will give you money back. Right now, $300, but in our goal, we want all of the projects to list with the Fini phone, and the, the, the result would be that not only the phone will give you back the $1,000, but maybe it will even give you more than that. And we will have a phone that instead of you buying the phone and paying for the phone, you pay for the phone and then the phone pays you. And this is also something that we think is exciting and revolutionary. This is our plan. Good luck to us and thank you for coming. Thank you, Moshe. And a round of applause for Moshe Kokek, everybody, please. <laughs> there are many great people behind the Fini project and Syrian Labs. And one of them is co-founder and chairman Kines Rakishev. I would like to welcome to Mr. Rakishev to the stage to share with you a bit about the company's world-renowned legacy of security. Mr. Rakishev. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm really excited to be here. And I think it's a historical day for Syrian Labs team because I am present now uh, not only product Fini, I'm also present you one of the, our legacy product. We created our own Syrian Labs iOS special operation system, which uh, allows to users uh, to have cybersecurity protection. I think everybody knows here that security is one of the important uh, today and crucial uh, moment for the all users because you want to secure your data, you want to secure your information and this, because of this we create value to the Fini. So as you know our team, Sydney Labs team, I think one of the best number one in the world as a professional team who can build any type of the security project because all our user experience was started when uh, first model Solarin came in 2016. So when we launched this phone, we used through this phone all crypto type of connection. First it was uh, crypto call, then it was crypto messages. And uh, we didn't know, uh, me and Mashiko, that uh, the all crypto industry will create huge big business and we're really happy to be a pioneer of the crypto uh, you know that uh, when me and Mashiko we founded this uh, Syrian Labs in 2013 with the mission to develop the most exclusive and secure mobile phone in the world so we after three years we create this and we launched Solarin in, in May 2016 which is still being sold today and is considered as one of the most secure mobile phone in the world. And now we introduce you Fini. Is, uh, and Fini is became is a culmination of the five year of developing and building ultra secure consumer electronics. I wanna tell a little bit about uh, Fini Syrian iOS cybersecurity. So, uh, IPS, Instruction Prevention System, it's really unique technology. And I think uh, it's uh, revolutionary because you, we build it, uh, this operational system on the artificial intelligence. And uh, this artificial intelligence technology allows the users have uh, 24 and 7 monitoring service which including offline airplane mode and even when the user is asleep our artificial intelligence technology always always monitoring for you so 
user uh, can have monitoring of parameters network, malware, device security definition. Action is based on a countermeasure first, notify the user afterwards. So what does it mean that our, our artificial intelligence technology uh, first protect users and then give information that there was some attack there? So I think it's really amazing technology. I believe that uh, as a user you will be very happy to have not only the first blockchain phone, also the phone who have this security legacy. And I'm really too happy and excited to present you. And my belief and our team believe that we are the pioneer of the blockchain uh, hardware. Also, I want to say that uh, Sitting Labs now became really um, pioneer of the software uh, blockchain technology and security technology. And I think it's really, really important to all users. So thank you very much that you now uh, together with us and uh, I hope that I'm sure that you will like our products and we are the first and we are the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Kines Rakishev. How will Siri Labs bring blockchain in technology to the masses? One of the ways is with a simple and seamless, easy to use user experience with Fini. Fini will run on Siren and Siren OS, sorry, which is an ultra secure and Google certified modification of Android. So many people around the globe are devoted Android users. Using it as the basis for Siren OS opens the world and other whims to use and enjoy it with ease right out of the box. For a special presentation on the tech of Siren OS, we have Amit Krellman, Vice President of Research and Development at Siren Labs. Amit. Thank you very much. Amazing phone, amazing phone. My name is Amit Kerman. I am the Vice President of Research and Development in Serene Labs. Our vision is to bring the gap between blockchain technology and the mass market. I would like to share with you the great vision, how the great vision become a reality. In order the mass market to adopt the blockchain, we must control on any layers from the protocol to the user experience. What is the best electronic device that ca can fit this challenge? As you already guessed, we have decided to develop the Fini, and the first blockchain phone that runs Serene OS, but this is only the beginning of our execution of the vision. Our vision is that every Android-based device will run Serene OS. We are open for other OEMs to adopt the Serene OS and join us to the blockchain revolution. What is Serene OS? Serene OS is an extension of Android operating system. You have all the Android and all the benefit of the Android and enable the blockchain, which six main uh, components, the decenter, the cold storage wallet, the cyber protection, token conversion services, software development kit, and peer-to-peer -peer resource sharing. As you know, the security is the art of the Serene OS, and we integrated the security into the layer, including kernel and protected host attack, network attack, and unsecure user definition by a sophisticated machine learning. The security of the phone is above any standard in the market but we have decided to take it even further. We have created a full separate hardware from the main processing, a different processor, a different display, without any connectivity to the network. A cold storage wallet that makes sure that your private key and any sensitive action will be totally isolated if something will happen to your main operating system, and not, it will not happen, you will still be uh, safe. Today, there isn't any killer application on the blockchain. Why? Even, if, if, uh, even for an experienced developer, there is a big learning curve. Therefore, 
We are creating the SDK for the blockchain, software development kit, the gateway for to the blockchain, that every application can start and move to the blockchain. Okay? If in the simple API developer can concentrate on the bare on the core business and leave our leave the hard work for us. What we're developing, we have a lot of API and we are, have our vision to develop a lot of API to make the blockchain very easy to do. But let's go about a few of them. Sign and receive crypto payment. Sign blockchain messaging. Peer-to-peer -peer transaction with zero fee and zero latency. Connect to different blockchain and more and more. Cut, cut out the middleman. One of the blockchain promise is to make sure they are not the, we move from the giant to the peer-to-peer. -peer. Resource sharing today, all the content, data, resourcing are sharing with the giant company. Today, part of the blockchain revolution is to have peer-to-peer -peer communication, cut out the middleman. Let's do a demo, okay? It's a little bit geeky, okay, in tech. But sorry, this is what I am. <laughs> but it really works. The main process of the, the demo is to show you the revolution of the blockchain. But what we are doing. Think about the idea that cut out the middleman. You can think about anything. It can be Wi-Fi, it can be camera sharing, it can be content sharing. Let your imagination work. In this demo, it's a little bit tech, I will go, go through this demo and will explain. We did a demo that used the SDK in very easy way, okay? I will connect this, uh, the cable between these two phones. And under the hood, okay, this is the business logic that they decided to do to move battery from one to another. And it's starting to charge uh, each, each other, okay? But I want to explain you what happened under the hood, okay, under the hood, it can create a smart contract. He put 0 0.1, we will refresh, 0 0.1 to the, uh, to the escrow on the smart contract and pay for one transaction. And then between these two, uh, two phones, can, you can start see that 0, 0 0.1 are paying from one to the device to another, which is zero fee and zero latency. And this is very important for the market to succeed. After I will disconnect it, okay? In, in this case, I will disconnect it now, okay? You can see that after a few seconds, there will be another transaction on the blockchain. Everything was off-chain with zero latency and zero fee, but after a few seconds, you can see another transaction that he paid 0 0.0.6, like you see in the, in, the, in, the, in the left one of the camera, and return back 0 0.94, 94 return back to the user. This is very important to understand that it was only two transactions on the, on the blockchain and everything was very fast and very latency, which for developers that will think about any idea, okay, it will be very simple, use this SDK, and start developing a real application. What will be the next killer application? Let, let your imagination work. You will come with great idea and we will help you to deploy it in very easy. We are calling to all the OEM to join the blockchain revolution and adopt the Serene OS. The revolution is here. Let's move the blockchain from geeks to the mass market. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Amit. As you may have heard, Siri Lab has already established strategic partnerships with industry leaders like Cardano, Foscon, International Holdings, you know, the makers of the iPhone, Xbox, and Amazon's Kindle. Another great partnership Siri Labs has is with the phenomenon many of you know as the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Syrian Labs brand ambassador and football club Barcelona star, Leo Messi. More about them now with Moshe Jogek. Moshe. Hey, 
again. So, you know, when we thought about the brand ambassador, we needed to think about someone that, first of all, can reach the masses, but also can relate to the values of what we're trying to do. And there's this story that I'm very excited about, about uh, uh, that is very inspiring in my uh, 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 belief about Messi. So, I don't know how many of you knows, but, but when Messi was a kid, and I'm going to ask him about it in a second, when Messi was a kid, he had grow, growing issues. And he was very small, but the guys from Barcelona, they believed in him. So I say it's like hodling. They hodled Messi. They took him to Barcelona. They took care of him. And Messi became the greatest player of all times. So those values with his modesty, with his amazing achievements, made us to, to, to choose him. And we are very honored that he also chose us. I'm very honored to call a, a person that I'm a big, I'm his biggest fan, but I think all of us uh, cherish. Please, Mr. Leo Messi. <laughs> Leo, first I want to invite you to look at the commercial that we've done together. Hindsight is funny, because success isn't a given. Are you three good at football? And you? I'm only just getting started. But this story is more common than you might think. These kids weren't underestimated. They were overlooked. There's a difference. To overlook is to miss the clues that hide in plain sight. To miss the real progress that comes from daring to be different from having the courage and the willingness to break from the past, from holding on to what you believe. If you notice what others cannot, you'll see. The future's not hidden. You've held it all along. Finny, the world's first cyber-protected blockchain-enabled mobile phone from Siren Labs. excited. <laughs> so, Leo, thank you for being with us this evening. Muchísimas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros esta noche, Leo. Bueno, antes que nada, buenas noches a todos y que nada, es un placer estar acá con, con ustedes. Good night to everybody and it's a big pleasure to just be here with all of you tonight. <laughs> Rosario, you had uh, 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 some health growing problems, but Barcelona believed in you and they took care of you. I say they hodled you and uh, uh, you became who you are. How important was uh, 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 the football club Barcelona in your development? And would you have become what you are today if Barcelona wouldn't jump into the picture and help and believe in you? Leo, a pesar de las dificultades físicas en tu juventud, el equipo del Fútbol Club Barcelona, la institución, tomó la decisión de huddle, de agarrarse a ti, de elegirte, de confiar en ti, de confiar en vos. ¿Qué tan significativo fue el Fútbol Club Barcelona en tu formación profesional y personal para llevarlo hasta donde estás hoy? Bueno, la verdad que soy un agradecido al, al Barcelona que me dio la la oportunidad de, de poder cumplir mi sueño, de poder pelear por, por ello y obviamente es fundamental en, en toda mi vida, eh, tanto en lo futbolístico como en la vida personal. Eh, llegué con, con 13 años y prácticamente llevo más tiempo acá que en, que en mi propio país. Eh, es una ciudad que, que amo, la cual me encuentro eh, maravillosamente. Eh, mis tres hijos nacieron acá, 
y estoy muy feliz de, de jugar al Barcelona y vivir la ciudad de Barcelona que es hermosa. Well, first and foremost, it, it's everything for me, Fútbol Club Barcelona and even this city, because it's not only my career, but also my family. My, my kids were born here. This is like, I spend more time even here than in my country. And the big decision that they made for me, it makes a huge difference. And then they helped me to like accomplish my biggest dreams. So, you know, mobile phones today, they store all of our information, photos, texts, videos, everything. Today with the Fini phone and the Sirino S, we also allow you to store money uh, in the phone and, and, and value. Uh, uh, how important is uh, security and privacy to you? Los celulares tienen mucha información privada de las personas en general, es un tema muy importante, sus, sus fotos, sus documentos. Y ahora con Fini estamos permitiendo a las personas mantener aún más seguridad en su dispositivo móvil. ¿Qué importancia tiene para ti la privacidad y la seguridad en tu teléfono móvil? Fundamental, importantísimo. Eh, creo que tener la, la seguridad y la privacidad es... Es lo principal, ¿no? Eh, es eso, es de, de uno mismo y, y más hoy en día que hay tanta gente que se dedica a robar in, información y cada vez más creo que la seguridad es, es muy importante para, para mí en este caso. I think security and privacy is the number one priority right now uh, for everybody. It's important because we have like all of our content, all our lives on the mobiles. And moreover, for Leo, like it's a very important thing for him. So privacy, it's very important now more than ever because right now there's a lot of like hackers and people can steal your identity or even your money. You know, talking about cybersecurity, cybersecurity is defense. Now, you're a forward, you're a attacker. Yesterday we see against uh, Eidnoven, <laughs> between four players, boom, you score the goal. So uh, uh, we look at you, you're like a hacker on the football field. <laughs> so can you tell us, how do you do this? La seguridad cibernética es defensa. Sabemos que eres uno de los mejores atacantes, el mejor atacante del mundo, y te enfrentas a las defensas más fuertes del mundo. Ayer lo vimos en pleno Champions League frente al PSV. Sin embargo, logras romper eh, su defensa cada vez. Así que podríamos decir que eres un hacker en el campo de juego. ¿Cómo lo haces? Bueno, no sé. Siempre intento eh, dar el máximo... <coughs> y superarnos día a día eh, hay partido y partido a veces se puede, a veces no ayer, eh, gracias a Dios se pudo ganar el, el partido que era el objetivo y, y bueno, llego haciendo esto de que, de que soy chiquito es mi, mi pasión eh, lo que amé desde muy chico y, y disfruto haciéndolo como cada uno hace lo que, su trabajo que le gusta Well, I always try to give my best and improve every day, and that's the key kind of of, his, of my success. Uh, but moreover, um, in general, yesterday, like I, I want to see things like match to match, like day by day. And yesterday was a good day. And also, I've been doing this like all my life since I'm just a kid. You know. Decentralization is important, you know, we, we know you are the best player of all times, but your team have winning important games even if you're not playing. So against Real Madrid, you didn't play, but Barcelona won. <laughs> How important, and we saw you on the, on, the, on the side cheering and happy for the team. How important is, in your opinion, that a team is not based on only one player. La descentralización es muy importante, es decir, que cualquier empresa o equipo de fútbol no dependa tan solo de una persona. 
eres el jugador más importante en el club, pero incluso cuando no estás jugando, tu equipo obtiene victorias. Te hemos visto disfrutar del juego de tus compañeros desde la grada e incluso sintiéndote feliz cuando tienen, obtienen una victoria aunque tú no estés en el campo de juego. ¿Cómo se siente celebrar las victorias de tus compañeros de equipo aunque estés en la grada, aunque estés en el banquillo? Bueno, la verdad que lo disfruté muchísimo porque me tocaron pasar partidos importantes fuera, mirándolo de afuera, pero fue una experiencia hermosa la cual compartí con, con mi hijo, que nunca lo puedo hacer porque siempre estoy jugando y él eh, mirándome y, y lo disfruté muchísimo, ¿no? Y eso es, que se tra eso es lo que se trata, de, de formar un buen equipo. Creo que los grandes equipos son los que consiguen cosas importantes y por más que tengamos eh, muy buenas individualidades, si no tenés un, un gran conjunto, un gran equipo, es eh, muy difícil ganar cosas importantes. I think the most important thing is to be just a team. I think a team is over anything else. So the most important is just to cheer up also your, your teammates. And for me, it was a great experience because I could just enjoy the game that I love and also I was with my son and it was a great opportunity for me just to be with my son and enjoy a match. And it was like a great opportunity for me and I think the best is to share and just be a team. You know, in every success story, there's many failures in the way. You can't have success without failing. How do you handle failures, losses, of personally you and the team Barcelona also? Al igual que cada historia de éxito, los fracasos son siempre una parte del viaje. ¿Cómo haces tú, Leo, para manejar los fallos, los tuyos y también los de tu equipo cuando las cosas no salen bien? Bueno, la verdad que es, <coughs> es difícil ¿no? cuando uno no, no consigue lo que, el objetivo que, que pretendía, eh, que no se da como uno imaginaba o pensaba antes de, de, de cada partido o cada competición. Pero se trata de de volver a levantarse, volver a intentarlo. Eh, cada, cada decepción intentamos que, que dure lo menos posible para seguir levantándote y, y seguir intentándolo. Eh, creo que eso es lo fundamental, como en cualquier, en el día a día, en cualquier persona, en su trabajo, en, en la vida diaria, creo que, que todos pasamos por momentos duros por decisiones, pero es la vida, eh, volver a levantarse y volver a intentarlo y, y disfrutar de, de lo que hacemos. It is always very difficult to not get what you want or what you desire or what you wish, but you always need to try again. You never give up. And not only at the field, this is life. In life, as in football, we always go through things and you just need to stand up and try again and just Keep on going. You know, I, I think it's, it's uh, amazing to, to hear this from you. Everyone knows everything you accomplished, but even you saying that failure is part of success. And if you fail, you sh shouldn't give up, get up and try again. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful message for everyone here and everyone across the globe. Thank you. Creo que es un gran mensaje que Leo nos diga y nos recuerde la gran importancia de nunca dejarnos vencer y siempre seguir intentando y seguir adelante. Messi. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Leo. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you uh, here with us tonight. Thank you very much, Moshe. Thanks um, for being with us and sharing all this knowledge for such a successful man right here. And well, and on behalf of the Syrian Labs team, I would like to thank you all for your interest in Fini and your attendance here tonight. I would also like to thank everyone who is joining us via the live stream. Your support and interest in Fini blockchain smartphone will help others dive into crypto and will take Fini to the moon. Thank you to our esteemed guests, journalists and VIPs 
We invite all of the journalists and video representatives to join us now in the experience room for one-on-ones with members of the Syrian Labs team to see Finney up close and to ask questions. I ask you just to stay here at the room and later we will take you to the experience room just to get to know more about Finney. It had been a wonderful evening. Thank you very much and have a good night.